Okay, hi everyone, back again. Uh, second part of our video, this time we're looking at the brand Suyato. Now this is a brand that's been relatively new to us here at Hobbies Australia, but wow, 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 wow. This brand just gets better and better and better with every shipment. Now have a look at a few kits now and see what you think. So one of the, uh, the things that really I enjoyed about Suyato when uh, we had the opportunity to get this brand on board was, was their, their SD or their egg range. Um, you know, we've, we've seen their um, World War I biplanes and triplanes, really, really nicely done. Um, we've now seen in this shipment uh, their Titanic. And this was announced some time ago, but it's taken us a little bit of time to be able to secure the stock, but it's finally arrived. And we'll actually, um, and we'll get some close-ups of this, but here's one of the little Titanics built. Um, really, really nicely done. Went together like a dream. So yeah, we'll get some close-ups of this. Um, the colouring's right, the features certainly look right. So it's a really, really nice little bit of fun. So with Titanic, um, Seattle has offered us three different boxings. The first one we've got here um, is, is what you would expect with Titanic. Here's the ship going through an ice field. Um, there's icebergs are included, the seals are included. It's really nicely done, it's cleverly done. Um, the next one, and this is the one that I actually built, was the Titanic in a port scene. A um, little bit of a, a steampunk, I guess, look to it if, if you like, but um, I chose to do this one and I was really, really impressed with how the kit went together. Um, and how it finished up looking. And as I said, Ryan will get some close-ups of this and you can, you can make your own decisions based on that. But, you know, it, it's a snap together kit. Um, I use no glue, um, certainly could use glue. And what I'm gonna do with the, um, the street scene is actually I'm gonna take that home and probably over the Christmas break, break that down, um, really do some, some fine detailing work in regards to paints, painting, washing, shadowing, that sort of stuff. And look, I think it's gonna come up very, very nicely. Out of the box, it looks superb. So a little bit of effort should look even better. The third one, and I found this a little bit strange, um, but I can understand the company wanting to use uh, the moulds to the absolute maximum, and that is we've got the Titanic in a bit of a, a river delta scene. It's fun, it's funky, it's quirky. Um, yeah, it looks the goods. Now these uh, have retail prices of $46, and then we have these two at $59, but let me just say, if we look at that, the box is just groaning, groaning with plastic. I mean, all these sprues, bases, ships, buildings, landscape, and it just keeps going and going and going. So there is an awful lot of plastic in there. Yeah, it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, and I certainly understand and I appreciate that, but for something fun and quirky, Suyata ticking all those boxes. So, one of the other kits uh, that was incorporated in this delivery from Suyato was their mechanical dynasties, uh, their marvellous museum. And what we've got here is we've got a rhino beetle. Now, on one side, we have the shell of the rhino beetle, but if we then have a look on the other side, it actually shows us all the internal workings. Um, really, really nice, certainly something different. Uh, there's been a lot of conjecture and discussion about this. Um, and I really think for something, again, that's, that's different and fun and getting people back into the hobby and bringing people to the hobby, the people at Seattle really are being very, very smart in what they're doing. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. The quality of their multicolored plastic is really good. These guys um, really do push the boundaries. They do their attachment points in a smart manner um, so that they don't really need a lot of cleanup. But of course, because it's colored plastic, you need to be careful just how and where you remove the parts for the sprue because the last thing you want to do is create a blemish on the colored surface um, that would make you then have to go and paint. You don't need to paint these kits out of the box. The plastic is, is more than adequate, um, as you can see with the, uh, the Titanic model that we, uh, we showcased just, just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, it really, really does look the goods. So, Marvelous Museum, Mechanical Dynasties, their Rhino Beetle. More to come, stay tuned, watch, watch all about this type of stuff. You're gonna see a lot of it. So, when Suyata first came on board, one of their really, really standout kits was an armored fighting vehicle, a Panther, M148, with a 15-ton Strava crane, um, I think is the correct pronunciation. I'm sure somebody will say 
no, 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 you're wrong. But it was a maintenance scene in a box and it was just so very, very well received. Absolutely fantastic. The quality was great. The, it just ticked so many boxes, it wasn't funny. So in this shipment, what we've got from the people at Suyata is they have released the 148 Panther with a full interior by itself. Now, if we look at the detail here as we start pulling sprues out, this is just absolutely amazing. 148 armoured fighting vehicle with a full interior. And look, the sprues just keep coming and coming and coming. Lincoln length track, metal barrel, copper ca tow cable. We've got um, Zimmerit in decal form. So there's just so much in here. It's just absolutely amazing. It, it's it's jaw-dropping. Um, the quality of their instruction booklets, their colours, their call-outs, all that type of stuff are just absolutely amazing. Look, I'm here to tell you, Suyata, um, if you're not familiar with the brand, if you're in a store uh, and you get the opportunity to have a look at one of these kits, just take a couple of minutes, talk to the guys at the counter, ask if you can open it up, um, and you're going to be very, very pleasantly surprised with what's in the box. Now, 48 scale, German armoured fighting vehicle, full interior, all the detail that you could possibly hope for. Retailing for $54. That is just fantastic. Um, it's a terrible time to be a modeler at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, second to last kit that I want to showcase from Suyata is their new offering, uh, consisting of, in 148 scale, a Russian T90A with the Tiger Gaz. Okay, their um, T90 tank, their Gaz um, soft skin support vehicle. Okay, 148 scale, two models in the box, retailing for $63. Now, I've got to say, I opened uh, the box on this and I was just absolutely lost for words. Um, the quality, the attention to detail, and Ryan will get some very close up photos of this, but let me tell you, what these people are doing, uh, what they're achieving at Seattle just has to be seen to be believed. I, I can't rave enough about this brand, okay? It's one of those um, quiet little sleeper brands. They don't have a lot to offer initially, but that range is growing and growing and growing, and the quality is getting better with each release. So, as I said, if you've got the opportunity to get into a retail store, into a hobby store where they've got this brand, ask the guys at the counter, hey, can I open this up? Can I have a look at it? You are going to be blown away with what the people at Suyata are, are achieving. Um, we'll, as I said, get photos of this, but as you can see, you know, two 148 full models in here. I mean, look at the, the attention to detail. Um, it's, just, it's just phenomenal. And it just gets better and better the further you get down into the box. I mean, you know, rubber wheels. And rubber wheels are, are notorious, but if we look here at the attention to detail on the track, on the tread, it's just lovely stuff. So, Suyata, um, one last model to have a look at. And this, this for me, um, I, I'm, I'm really impressed with this last one. Now, I've always been a military modeler, okay? Um, armoured fighting vehicles, aircraft, ships. It's pretty much been my jam for 45 odd years. There's other categories or styles out there. You know, we see Gundam, um, space retro, cars, trucks, bikes, blah, 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 blah. You know, it, it just gets bigger and bigger. From Suyata, uh, we now have this kit. Um, it's a 148th uh, Suesi Space Dive Bomber. Now, I was a little bit skeptical about some of this sort of stuff. I thought, oh yeah, okay, well. But then I saw their space battleships and I saw their space submarines and I could see where they were going and I thought, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I saw some work on this particular kit. Now, this kit retails, or has a recommended retail of $43. Okay, it's a 148 space dive bomber. But when you then look at it and open it up and you see what's in the box, wow. Wow, I, I can't use the word wow enough on, on this particular kit. So I took this home and I started playing around with it. And as we can see, you know, multicolored plastic, okay, looks the goods, 
you know, fine rendering, and I'll take that one out. You know, lots and lots of options here. Um, so again, it's all clipped together. Um, and what I did here is I built one of the wings. But as you would imagine, dive bomber, okay, um, a swing wing type scenario. Uh, what we've got here, as you can see, boom. You can move the wings. When we have a look through the instructions, you'll see that you can open and close the bomb bay uh, and take the ordnance out of the bomb bay. You have a really nicely done stand um, to display the model with undercarriage up, or you can take it off the stand and adjust the undercarriage so it can stand on its own landing gear. Um, very, very nicely done and had a lot of positive feedback and a lot of inquiries about this. And you're gonna see this model popping up uh, on, on competition tables. You're gonna see builds uh, appearing online in various forums. This is a very, very nice rendition of something I guess is totally left the field for me, but I'm, I'm just so terribly impressed with what the guys at Suyata are doing. So their Space Dive Bomber, the Suesi, uh, their code SRK005, retailing, recommended retail of $43. Um, it's really hard to go wrong with kits of, of this quality at that price. Um, yeah, look guys, if you ha don't know the brand and you've got the opportunity, please, please, I can't implore you enough, get out there and have a look at it because it is just absolutely red hot stuff. All right, so as always, thank you so very much for your time. Uh, if you like what we're doing uh, on our videos, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let us know what we're doing, what we could do to improve it, what can we do to make this more interactive. Again, take a word from the old man, the Santa Claus lookalike, Suyata, that's a golden brand of kits coming soon to a hobby store near you. Take care, stay safe, build more kits.